this a little more often. <laughs> How greedy of me. Oh, him again. Sure, I have answers. We've already done some investigating for the Tenryo Commission. But first, do you have enough Moro to cover the fee? I've heard all about your travels. After everything you've been through, I'm sure you understand the way these sorts of things work. Uh, how much more are we talking about here? A one-off payment of 397,000 Mora, up front. Plus, a further 5% of your Adventures Guild remuneration as my commission, if Arataki Ito is successfully caught and brought to justice. Whoa! That's crazy expensive! How did you even come up with the price that high? <laughs> Hold on. I wasn't finished. It just so happens the initial fee has already been paid in full by the Tenryo Commission. All you'll need to pay is the small commission fee. And, as for that amount, I'll settle things with the Adventures Guild once we have Ito. So, from the way I see it, you guys are getting a pretty nice deal. Now then, to give you the full picture in this case, we must first recount a well-known Inazuman fairy tale. A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best of friends. The Crimson Oni looked fierce, but was gentle like the humans. The Blue Oni looked human, but was reclusive, like an Oni. The Crimson Oni wished to befriend the humans, but they were scared and threw beans at him whenever he came near. So the Blue Oni said to the Crimson Oni, Aka! I'll cause trouble in the village. You'll come and stop me. Then the humans will accept you. As planned, the Crimson Oni chased the Blue Oni away. The Crimson Oni's deeds spread throughout the land, and people finally accepted him. But when the Crimson Oni went to tell the Blue Oni the good news, he was gone and left only a letter behind. I went traveling. Don't come find me, or they'll treat you as a naughty little Oni. But don't worry about me. No matter where I go, we'll always be friends. Huh? That's it? What about the little blue Oni? Whatever happened to him? I suppose the blue Oni simply disappeared, never to be seen again. Only the crimson Oni remain now. Of course it does. Otherwise, I wouldn't go through all the trouble of telling it. One interpretation is that the story is actually broadly based on historical events and that Arataki Ito is, in fact, a descendant of the Crimson Oni. What I'm trying to tell you is that the Oni have sacrificed a lot in the past in order to finally integrate themselves into human society. But there are still some volatile personality traits in the Oni bloodline. Every generation of Oni inherits these traits. So while Arataki Ito has never been known to commit a wrongful act in the past, can we ever completely rule out the possibility of him one day allowing this side of him to take over? But how could he do that? After the blue Oni's sacrifice? That would be such a betrayal! That's a very old story. 
Nobody knows how long it's been since the Blue Oni disappeared. We can only assume that they have long since died out, in which case, it would be quite a stretch to say it still counts as a betrayal at this point. Besides, the suspect has already confessed. What is there left to discuss? According to my investigation, he was headed southwest. I would bet he's already made it to Yashiori Island by now. The Tenryo Commission is unable to enter territory controlled by Songonomia troops. No doubt that's the reason Arataki Ito chose to flee in that direction. Don't mention it. I'm just doing my duty. Wait! Paimon still has a question. If Arataki Ito has given in to his bad side, won't that mean he's extra mean and violent now? I could only assume so. Judging from his previous bouts, he is a skilled fighter with a lot of brute strength. Whether or not you'll be able to handle him, that I do not know. Okay, but what's up with people throwing beans at Oni? What use is that? Ah, yes. Now that you mention it, I seem to recall that Arataki Ito is allergic to beans. In fact, all Oni will avoid beans, but especially Ito. I heard that just touching a bean is enough to incapacitate him. If you could weaken him a bit by triggering his allergies, perhaps you'd have better luck subduing him. Right! Knowing our target's weakness will make things a whole lot easier! It just so happens that I have a bag of beans right here. I was planning to use them to make some porridge, but I think you will find a better use for them. Of course, I will charge the Adventurer's Guild a fair and reasonable rate for the beans. Sneaky! But also, thanks! Let's head to Yashiori Island and start looking for Ito! Welcome to Bantan Sango Detective Agency. What will you have me solve? Please speak to President Sango. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. Blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities.
that be him? Is that Arataki Ito? He doesn't seem to be looking this way. Perfect. Let's try the beans Detective Sango gave us. It'll save a lot of hassle if we can avoid a fight. <laughs> uh, are you okay? What should we do? Paimon didn't think he'd react this badly. Uh, d d don't don't be alarmed. It's just my uh, uh, my allergies acting up. I've got it under control. It's all right. I got this. I just 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 gotta tough it out. <laughs> just, I, I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? I gotta catch my breath here. Whatever it is you want, it's gonna have to wait. I need a moment. <sighs> need a moment. <sighs> That's that's better. That sure took a lot out of me, though. <laughs> hey, why'd you have to be so mean, huh? Surprise attacking me like that. Oh, I get it. So you're here to bring me in. How in the world did you find me all the way out here? <laughs> well, whatever. If you think I'm going back with you, you can forget it. I'd walk away if I were you. I pack a mean punch, you know. I don't want to hurt any regular folks like you. That's pretty big cat considering all the beans we have. Yep, that's right. Me. All by myself. Nobody else. As boss of the Arataki gang, I gotta nab a little food and drink when we're running low. That's only natural, right? Yeah, but nabbing people? That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? Uh, not when their families will pay good mora to see them again. Easy pickings. And the extra mora means I can, uh, uh, give some to my gang to spend on themselves. <laughs> hey, what's with all the questions? Like I said, I'm not going back with you, so stop wasting everybody's time. No way, mister. We've accepted a commission to bring you back. What did you say, little one? 
Go on. Say it to my face. Uh, well, well, mostly he took a commission to bring you back. Looks like you aren't gonna let this drop. In that case, we... Uncle Ito! <sighs> Don't run now. Careful or you'll fall. What's taking you so long? You said we were gonna have a beetle fight today! Come on, you promised! Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, still going ahead. <laughs> but, y but you see, uh, I I've been out here for ages, and I still can't find a beetle that I like, so just give Uncle Ito a little more time, okay? Huh? Who are they? Are they your friends? Uh, yeah, that's right. I told them not to come, but what can I say? They were just too worried about me. <laughs> it's because of a little thing called, uh, prestige. Yeah, because of all the prestige Uncle Ito has. Huh? What are you talking about? We... Come on, just play along. Leave the kid out of this. Uh, Uncle Ito, you don't look so good. You look like you're about to fall over. <laughs> That's because Uncle Ito bumped his noggin on a tree branch while looking for a beetle. Uh-oh! <laughs> it's all good, though. These horns are rock solid. Okay, if you say so. Granny and I will keep heading back now. Don't be too long. Uh, yep, I'll be right there. Hope you're ready to lose today. Who were those people? The old lady was Granny Oni. She's the one who took me in and raised me. And the kid's name is Daisuke. I, I took him in just a while back. They're both like family to me. They escaped with me out this way, along with my boys from the Arataki gang. If I didn't bring them with me, the Tenryo Commission would be knocking on their doors for sure. Right. But if you care about them so much, then you shouldn't have done all that stuff that made them worry about you in the first place. I, uh, uh, listen, how about we make a deal? You two let me go wrap things up with Daisuke, and once we're done battling beetles, the two of us will settle things with a duel. If you win, I'll come quietly. You can take me back to Inazuma City, and you won't hear a peep out of me. Why? Because I'm an Oni of my word. I'll just tell little Daisuke that my friends and I need to step outside for a moment. That way you won't worry. Cool? Hmm. What should we do? There is the kid to consider. Oh, it's on! I like your style. <laughs> Alright, but first things first. I need to find an Oni Kabuto to battle with. I've been looking here for ages and haven't found myself a winner yet, so it's time to try somewhere else. Come with me. Saves you worrying that I might skedaddle. <laughs> 